Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 21st of March 2021. And we have a number of very, very interesting news. The first one is from the Loch Lea distillery. They're bringing out their first bottling for their first series and it will be the season series. Yeah, and it's kind of the seasons of the farmers in the lowlands. And the first one will be the sowing season where they sow their grain. Um, the next one will be then the Harvest edition in summer and the fallow edition in uh, autumn and the plowing edition in winter. It's limited the sowing edition on uh, 7,000 bottles. No coloring, no chill filtration, 48% ABV. And hopefully it will be available soon. Uh, yeah, it should be. Then we have the Eden Mill Distillery. They're getting their building permit. Um, it's in St. Andrews and I've already talked about that and they want to be the first CO2 and not CO2 emitting distillery so they don't have to buy any certificates because they're not emitting anything about that and they want to be the, one of the first ones to do that. 2023 they want to take in their first visitors. Then we have the Talisca Atlantic Challenge that has ended with a world record. The 36 teams were rowing over 3,000 kilometers uh, over the Atlantic, so from Talisker, I think, to New York or something like that. And the winners were from Switzerland, and they made it in 35 days. But that was not the world record. The world record was with the women's team. Two British women did the rowing challenge over 3,000 miles, and they did it in 45 days. So 45 days of rowing so more than the month pretty much one and a half month of straight rowing and they beat the old world record by five days so they're five days faster and i have to say very much uh yeah that's really tough so congratulations to you and well deserved now i have the aaron 16 year old single cask a new single bottling uh with from tila's uh, Tila's list and yeah, it's a cast strength 52 percent, 50 point, 52.3% ABV, no coloring, no uh, chill filtration, should be available end of March in ex bourbon casks. Then we have news from the Edrington Group. Uh, they are planning to do more warehouses, this time on the range of Glenrothes. They're splitting their barrels or their casks all around. So this will not just be Glenrothes that's stored there, but a lot of Macallan and other stuff as well, Highland Park. And the, the big kicker is they're building 21 new warehouses. That's quite a lot on a 65.8 uh, big acres, big, uh, yeah, plain, yeah. So they just bringing out their, yeah, asking for the permits, the pre-permits right now, and the real permits will be uh, sent in uh, at the end of the year. And they're not building 21 warehouses all at once, but when you build warehouses, you build like two at a time or maximum three at a time or even one at a time sometimes continues with the production of the whiskey. So when you have one finished, you can just fill it and the next one is then finished when you've um, stored everything in the first warehouse. Then we have some bad news uh, for the Wolf Craig distillery. They were planning to building a really nice distillery, 15 million pounds Wolf Craig distillery in Sterling. And then the council, the city council has rejected their building permit yeah and now they are um want to go in revision with that so they want to fight these uh the declare decline uh because they the sterling council said it wouldn't uh fit into the open environment or the landscape or something like that some something with air environmentally or how it looks or something like that and they want to uh, try to fight that in a legal battle. And also they want to uh, ask other sites to build their distillery there. And yeah, my advice is it's always good to have more options. So yeah, ask more, more sites and you will find good places to build your distillery. 
Yeah. Then we go over to Ireland. The Irishman and Walsh whiskey getting new uh, bottle designs and new bottlings. Um, so yeah. For example, the Irishman Founders Reserve is now becoming the, uh, the gets the name The Harvest. And uh, they're becoming a bit sleeker and a bit different and the new uh, label for that. And also the Irishman Limited Edition 2018 Caribbean Cask Finish is becoming a standard bottling. So that's really nice because that was a nice bottling in 2018. And when you have such a nice limited edition, uh, then you can just bring it out as a standard edition. And everybody's happy. The customer has a new... yeah. A new uh, standard edition to buy that they really liked and they are selling good whiskey. Then we have USA whiskey news and that goes from Frankfurt, Kentucky. The Castle and Key is uh, bringing out their burst, first new bourbon. 80 barrels with 40 year old Kentucky straight bourbon were bottled for their first small batch. Yeah, 80 casks or ba barrels for the Americans is a small batch, but yeah, everything is a little bit bigger in America, so that's a small batch. The Castle Key Distillery is in Frankfurt, Kentucky, and it's not a new distillery, it's kind of the, the old Taylor distillery that was closed in 1972, uh, rebuilt. I don't think they just continued with the old one because they don't, didn't even call themselves uh, that, but uh, they're bringing out this distillery in a new way, castle and key style, 49% ABV. Unfortunately, it's just available in the United States. But um, if I hear 80 barrels, then hopefully this whiskey will also reach the international markets um, over the next years. Then we have news from the same region with Maker's Mark 46, they're getting a new look. They're having the same um, content with the staves and that kind of stuff, but they're bringing out a new bottle look and also they want to bring out the word uh, French Oaks on the label. Yeah, so that was it with the international news uh, or with the American news. The international news are just for Germany. They're not that inter interesting for all the international. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.